Hi, my name's Renee. I'm just um, about to start irrigation here on the farm. This is our first in-crop irrigation. I'll just show you how to start a siphon. So this one here is a two and a half inch siphon and I'll um, just give you a demonstration. When you're starting a siphon, what you're doing is creating a suction-like action. So when you're pushing the siphon into the water, you've got your hand off the end of the pipe. And when you're pulling it back out of the water, you're actually putting your hand over the top of the siphon and pulling the water through. One of the important things that you've got to make sure of is you've got enough water in your head ditch. If you don't, the pipes aren't going to start. We normally do irrigation shifts in about 8 to 12 hours and it's really important that we make sure the plants are well irrigated but they're not waterlogged. Once we stop the siphons, we have to ensure that we're actually starting enough siphons in the rest of the head ditch to make sure that we don't blow a head ditch. So it's done in shift changes over that eight or 12 hour period. So we'll normally do say 100 siphons at once. Um, they go through for the eight hours and then those siphons get stopped and we'll restart another 100 siphons. Thanks for watching uh, my irrigation demonstration today. I hope you learnt something.